three to our watch along of Charlie, the Malayalam film from 2000. 15. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, you're seeing a very cut-up version because of copyright reasons. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, though, you can have it to Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below in the pinned comment. So you can go check those out. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the film and review it uh, for your enjoyment if you'd like to, if you care to know our thoughts on it, which I assume you at least kind of do because you're watching this. <laughs> or you're not. And you accidentally <laughs> click on it and you're like, why am I here? <laughs> that could happen as well. But anyways, let's just get into this. Okay back into this because we're already we've already seen most of it <laughs> i do these all at the beginning here we go the old irish goodbye <laughs> what they call it when you leave without telling anybody but the lingi ഞാനുണ്ടാവും <laughs> supposed to happen Abracadabra Abracadabra Begama Abracadabra Shruti, Shruti Ram. Ninga, where are you doing that thing, lah? Tessa, we are doing that. Unge Tessa, we don't get any theory at all. Ye, we are going. Going to. Hmm. Who are you, Tessa? Unge culture, we are doing that. അത് നമ്മൾ കാണാത്തൊരു ചിഹ്ന ഇവിടെ മനസ്സിലുള്ള രൂപം വെച്ച് കറക്കി കുത്തി നോക്കിയപ്പോ അമ്മ താനാണെന്നങ്ങ് വിചാരിച്ചു ശരിക്കും താനല്ലേട്ടെ സാർ കളറായിട്ടൊരു ഫോട്ടോ പിടിച്ചാലോ ഓക്കെ Jason Bourne.
Thoughts? I liked it. Yeah. Well, that was it, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out that name. It's going to drive me the insane. The one that sh- Oh, from earlier? Yeah. That you asked? So are they banging or what? Yeah, they definitely are. So Christ is banging somebody? So you think... I think there was a lot of evidence was pointing to he was a Christ-like... One, Kerala, a very Christian state of of, of India. So it, it's not out of the realm of possibilities mm-hmm. that they would have a... Um, I don't know if it's Christ-themed, but a Christ-like character in one of their movies. Mm-hmm. But then... <laughs> Then she had his, put her shoulder on him. I'm like, so Christ is banging somebody now. Wait, wasn't there a... That was Da Vinci Code, right? That was Da Vinci Code. Oh, is this interweaving? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? You don't think he was a Christ figure? There was lots of hints. I mean, I, I could see Tons. parallels for sure. Yeah, you don't think he was a like a. But I don't think it was like retelling of the Christ story. No, it's not a retelling. I think he's playing a Christ figure, though. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he did a lot of just helping people and totally. Um, or, or saving them. Or, a lot of his goals were definitely. There was. To save people. There was. Definitely righteous anger in there. He talked about either Christ or. Him or mm-hmm. my father, mm. a lot. Uh, he also then did the whoosh, over the head. That's like the really iconic Christ photo with the thing. Also, it looks way more like Jesus than any Western depiction of Jesus <laughs> ever would. By the way, yeah. except he's way too gorgeous uh, for to be actual Jesus. Anyways, I. So that that part at the end threw me for a little. I don't know. Plus, it was just he was supposed to be like Christ. Yeah. And he could bang as well. Not a lot of banging for Christ in the Bible, from what I've <laughs> from what I've read. I don't think he was in Song of Solomon. Uh, those were the other people in the in the story. Um, but yeah, I think. I think that was definitely. A, it was evident from the beginning until the very end that he was. Some type of, he was, at minimum, a depiction of somebody who is of Christ. Jesus Cristo, if you will. Yeah. I could see that more than, like... Well, that's what I was saying. He's just, he's playing a Christ figure. I don't think he was... (laughs) I don't think they're telling Jesus' story. Like, modern day Jesus? No. Uh, I just think he's playing, like... Christ like figure and they did a lot of parallels of him talking yeah in a certain way that I still I'm confused by the end are they banging are we allowing Jesus to bang I don't know I think you're really stuck on the Jesus thing I just think are it's, we allowing Jesus to well in normal <laughs> Jesus stories they would frown upon Jesus banging because that's you know we both grew up in the church. That's a sin. <laughs> yeah, Jesus doesn't sex. <laughs> no sex for the man. Uh, anyways, yeah, I... Um, I liked it. I thought it was really cute. Um, my I don't know if it's much away, of a romance, though. Yeah. I think I guess because more of my takeaway was, like, they, like, he's out here helping so many other people, mm. and he's putting himself on the back burner due to fear of mm. letting himself be taken care of, letting himself be loved. Um, he's doing that for all these people, and he never stays in one place too long. He has all these relationships, but if he stays, they could go south, and yeah. then what will he do? Yeah. So he's constantly on the move. He has all these places that are home, but not really home because he doesn't stay long enough. Yeah. He has all these people that love him and care for him, but don't really even really know him because he's not long enough there to 
for them to actually know who he is. Yeah. Um, so I think like one of the big things is like he brings this lady, but 70 years he's, Mm -hmm. and then he's like, you know, if someone knew where she was, couldn't I have met her sooner? And like, like what would my life have been if, you know, she didn't become a nun and I didn't spend my whole life waiting for her. Like, Mm -hmm. don't do the same things I did like that type of thing and then the other is like in a world full of like millions and millions of people billions you can find your person yeah I'm not too stuck on the Jesus thing but I I do see the parallels you're talking about well I think there's absolutely that involved but I think at minimum heavy under of he wanted this person to also emulate Christ because it wasn't, I mean, he'd helped um, a, a thief. He hung out with thieves. He hung out with, um, he hung out with any hookers? No. No, okay. But obviously he helped the, the kid. And, um, yeah, also, like, that's his child. Mm. His 12-year-old baby. Should have done worse, for sure. Uh, yeah. Um, why do you think she didn't immediately tell him her name? I, I think for her personal fear. I mean, I think it was, it was just like, why, she's been searching and searching for him, and he's been running and running from her. Why would she just be like, it's me, please be with me. (laughs) Uh, I also thought that was another kind of parallel because to for you to seek out and follow him kind of yeah kind of a parallel kind of thing um at first i was like did he just mind fuck me like this is not actually Jess. like i was confused for a second <laughs> and then that was, did, uh, um but i mean like technically she did go and follow him now Followed them to the sheets. Now they're traveling together. Um, on a tractor full of corn. <laughs> tractor full of corn. Uh, I thought they both did really, really well. Uh, Dolkar Shaman. Um, I thought he did. He, I he, loved he, his apartment. Yeah, the apartment's great. I would like to. If it, if they should make it and put it on Airbnb. Um, I'd like that. And I thought she did a great job as well. Mm-hmm. I believed her the entire time. Um, loved her look, loved his look, very me. Um, Tessa as, why do you think they kept bringing back her family though? I don't understand that. Like even at the end, it almost seemed irrelevant. Right, like she didn't go back for the wedding or anything. Well, maybe it's like, you know, like. That almost seemed like an irrelevant aspect to me. I mean, if you want to go, Jesus, leave all your worldly possessions and follow me. Exactly. Exactly. Have sex with Jesus. That's what we're saying. (laughs) Uh, I live to offend Christians. Sorry. Uh, But, yeah, I just didn't understand that, especially the end. Like, obviously, I understand the, the she's a free spirit and her family doesn't want that and wants her to live and want her to get married to who but she's like a free spirit i get that but like bringing it back at the end and then not really do anything yeah. with it was kind of strange to me i do think it was weird because um at the beginning she did seem to have such a strong relationship with her grandma and her grandma was the only one that really accepted her and like they were both the weird girls and, she's and then she's in the hospital and she's like well grandma sometimes you gotta be in the hospital but I gotta yeah they didn't go. address that that's why I thought that end part I thought they were gonna be there was something else that was gonna right like she was gonna go back to the wedding or something yeah something and they didn't just didn't touch on it again so I thought that was weird yeah um yeah, that was that that was probably the the strangest part to me. But I mean, uh, yeah, forsaking all others. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. And Charlie mm, I feel like that might mean Christ. Uh because in LGP's films, what was that one? His have a lot of like Christian parallels to it. Um there was one that was like Hold on, let's just look up. It came out in 2015. It's probably Charlie Malia Lalam, meaning hmm. 
Mm -hmm. movie. Um, I did not understand the movie of 250 million. How did Charlie get a selfie with Tessa? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this person says it was not Tessa who chased after Charlie and chose Charlie as her love. It was Charlie who chose her as his love from the beginning of the story where Tessa runs away from the house and takes a ride on the sc with a scooter guy who is another in Charlie. We obviously saw that at the very beginning. Uh, he made her run behind him, leaving clues. Also, he was carrying a tree. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is the tree of life. That's interesting. Did you pick up that? Uh, did I think it was him leaving clues? I mean, I guess it would make sense because he's the one that made the phone call to his apartment. Yeah, that's true. And he kept calling until she answered. And then was like, do with the stuff what you want. Whereas um, she never, she wanted somebody else to come and clean it. And it wasn't until that phone call that she started dealing with it and found the other stuff. And I mean, yeah. all the people in the boat were yeah. people that she eventually met. She turned into a mermaid. Uh, runs over to avoid getting married and rents a room just to... Give context. She's dressed in traditional. Say that. Say that. Syrian Christian Chata Mundu. I don't know what that means. Uh, a guy gives her a lift on a motorbike. Um, the audience needs to know who the Good Samaritan is. At the end of the movie, it is really true. yeah, obviously. Oh, gotcha. So they're just explaining how she got the th he got the things because he's he's a magician, obviously. And he, did that i didn't pick up on the fact if that's true you guys could tell us this is i'm just reading an internet thing um but i mean i guess it could be turned that way as well but i mean how could he know just by those clues that she would seek him out well he is christ she might have just been like lame -o. um that's that's an interesting, that's an interesting one for sure. The uh, that theory, because mm. I that's not something I picked up on. Yeah. If that is in fact the case, you guys let us know if that's what you, if you think that is the case of. He was the one that was orchestrating everything in terms of. Yeah. The, and then the maybe thing would the make cat the and mouse. Work. Yeah. Play was actually him just. I could see it I, if you watch it again. You might be able to pick up on a little more. Yeah. Um, of how he did that. But, um, yeah. But uh, I also thought the visually the film was oh. really, really pretty. Yes, it So was. The, um, the cinematographer. It was definitely was an artistic treat. Really beautiful. Um, the shots and the lighting department of this were top-notch. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and the songs the as songs well. The songs were beautiful. I loved the music. Um, especially liked the song where... They were both dancing, and I found it very charming that both of them had um, very beautiful, flowy costumes for it. Because I feel like oftentimes it's just the girls, but he had a beautiful, flowy red skirt, and I loved it. Yeah, I like the. Um, I like that. Uh, all the songs were really, really pretty. Um, and it was Sherry Goshal, by the way. I did pick up on that. Composer was Gobi Sundar. Bangladesh Chennai Express. Chennai Express? The Chennai Express? No. He did something else on Chennai Express. What? I don't know, but he was involved in some way in Chennai Express. Hmm. Which we did a watch along of, so you can go check that out. He did. Um, I was there. Now I'm rethinking everything to see if it was him that was doing the orchestra orchestrating of everything. I love the song that was basically like a, a girl's romance novel. <laughs> That's the one I was talking about. Is that the one you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Essentially, if you go like in a bookstore in like the female mm -hmm. f f porn section, um, 
That's what they call female literature. Uh, totally. It's like, well, that section specifically, though. The naked, muscular man with a white horse. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of that, which I, I really appreciated. I loved Subin, as usual. He's so great. He is. He's an absolutely fantastic actor. Oh, we all, oh that was him, too. Um, the, one of the, that guy. He, we've seen him a lot mm. in Malayalam films before. Uh, Chamban Vinod uh, Jose. Um, I've heard a lot about this this movie, and it uh, it was really nice. I really enjoyed it all. Um, it was unique. Mm. It was, it was definitely um, unique. It kept you. I don't. I mean, I get it. They they did end up in the end together. You didn't want them to. No, 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 not that. I wanted them to. I just wouldn't... I don't know if I'd classify it as a romance. Obviously, they end up together at the end, but, mm-hmm. like, it's a lot of just looking, so I don't know if that's... And it's not even their story. Normally, it's, like, in terms of, like, what we're seeing a lot. We're seeing his backstory or her picking up the pieces of his backstory. Yeah. And I get that that's romantic. Could I mean I guess the other end of like if it was him leaving the clues all along like it he could has, be romantic that's true he has orchestrated his story in a way that for her true that it, by the time that they meet she is just in love with him that is very true that if he was the orchestrator then it is very romantic that is true uh, except for the sex trafficking part. It's not very romantic. Yeah, but it's good. That, but it wasn't him. Oh, his... I know. <laughs> I just, that that segment's not romantic. True. <laughs> it's just justice. True. Uh Well, not good enough justice for sure. No. Not good enough justice. Um. Yeah, that was nice. Now I'm rethinking everything. Not that I still think it's definitely it's definitely a thinker. Yeah, I definitely think there's even if it's if it's all that I I can't be the only one to pick up on. There was a shit ton of parallels. Well, I mean, even in the apartment, there was there's a stairway to a picture of heaven. Yeah, there's 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 a shit ton of Jesus references. Yeah, there is. There definitely is, and I I totally see that. So maybe he wanted to make a romance film with parallels of a guy that has Jesus qualities about him. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's a Christian and he's actually doing what Christians are supposed to do and try to emulate Christ, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I don't see a lot of those. Don't see a lot of those. Um, Yeah, let us know what you think of it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that this is one that you could probably watch. Yeah, for sure. And find and like pull out new things every time, like because yeah. there's so much like artistically going on. Yeah, so yeah. like, in the shots, in the art, in the background, like in all of those different things, like I'm sure every time you watch it, you'd pick something else up. Yeah, and I love their performances. Uh, I've loved every time we've seen them on screen. Um, yeah. Both actors. Yeah, it was very um, good. And Subin, always, always Subin. Yes. I love him <laughs> so cute. much. Uh, she did well as well. The uh, the doctor lady that was gonna kill herself. Um, oh yeah, Aparna, which I f- she looks familiar. She might just look like Prank a little bit. Mm. Chopra. But yeah, I knew who you were talking okay, about. Cool. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I would definitely watch it again. Oh shit! Joji mm-hmm. George produced it. The guy mm-hmm. in that other movie that he directed that yeah. we saw the twins. Mm-hmm. One? He produced it. Good on you, mate. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed our watch along as much as we enjoyed it. Um, I know sometimes we were just staring at the screen, but. And for real life, I feel like we watched a movie recently. It was like Mr. and Mrs. D'Souza. Like it was like, like I can hear the voice saying, anyways. Well, you guys are going to let us know. I don't know. I definitely won't remember those names for sure. Um, But uh, if you saw us on YouTube, obviously you saw a very cut up version. If you'd like to see the full uncut version of this and other films, uh, Molly Allen ones as well, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below the pinned comment. Let us know what our next Parvathi and um, (laughs) 
Dolk or Salmon um, films we should watch, which we are next Malayalam watch along with Steph or Rick. Let us know what that should be. And if you think Christ is banging. Oh my gosh. Let us know <laughs> down below. <laughs>